Hey guys, it's that festive time of year again, and what better way to help celebrate the holidays than with a little Christmas cheer. We're gonna be shooting a cranberry champagne drink. I found the recipe on the web and it looked awesome. So I created a little bit of a festive set. I'm gonna be using an iPhone 14 Pro to shoot it. It will work with any camera, but I've geared it a little more towards using a cell phone. So if that's what you're into, let's celebrate some holiday cheer. Now, the first thing we're gonna look at is the background that I basically set up here. I got a lot of stuff happening here. I got some Christmas lights all kind of embedded in there because we want the glow from the Christmas lights into the background. I've got some Christmas baubles in there to add a bit of color, the greens and the blues and everything else, a bit of gold in there as well. Now, a couple of the lights were a little too uh, bright in the background, so I just used a bit of this kind of cotton batten type stuff and it worked brilliantly to uh, help diffuse the light down and give me a little softer lighting. Now, have a look at this close up, and you can see that is a hot mess, and you're going, wow, that's the most distracting background I've ever seen in my life. You might be correct, but once you take it out of focus, check this out. Now, let's take it a little more out of focus. Check it out. Look at that bokeh. It looks awesome. So this is going to be a great background for our Christmas cranberry champagne drink. Now, let's look at the star of the show, and that is our cranberry champagne drink. It's basically just a cranberry drink with some champagne in. I will put the recipe down below. I found it on the web and it looks really good and I thought it would make a great Christmas pitcher. So that is what we're gonna do right now is get our star on set. Okay, here we go. We've got our drinks on set and they look awesome. Now, before you ask about my sad looking rosemary, it's intended that way. I did it on purpose so it looks kind of like a candy cane, but it's not. So that was done on purpose. Now, let's talk about the lighting. We've already talked about the background. And you're going, well, we're doing iPhone photography. How come you got studio strobes? Because the lighting setup is identical no matter what camera you're using. So if I'm using a DSLR or mirrorless, this is the same lighting setup, and I got the two strobes. This one here with the barn doors on, it's not hitting here. It's only hitting in the back to give me some specular highlight off that tinfoil. This one here is basically our main light. We're side lighting. But once I turn this light off, which I'll do in a minute, you can see we're actually backlighting the drink from the set itself. And this is more adding in as a fill as well to it. So this is a setup. If I'm using my iPhone, I'm using the modeling lights to take the photo. If I'm using my DSLR or mirrorless, these are studio strobes. I just hook my uh, flash sync on and away we go. So let's have a look at the actual setup of this so you can see what it looks like with the proper lighting. Just give me a second here, we'll turn this light off. Boom, there we go. Now, there is the proper lighting. And this is why I don't typically do the video like this when I'm trying to do the video because I get a little on the dark side. But this gives you an idea of what the lighting looks like. Look at it close up. You can see how that's backlighting the glasses from the set behind because it's brighter in behind and I'm getting some fill and uh, a bit of a kick off this one as well, off the main. So that's it. That's all there is to this little setup. Well, there you go. Quick, easy, simple way to do it. Have a look at this final image. Man, that looks good. Image came out rather well. But you really gotta play with that portrait mode to get back and forth and get it just to the sweet spot so you can get as close as you can to keep that background out of focus. But ah, that final image looked awesome. So anyways, that's it for this one. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you're aware when I post new videos like this. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. So. Until the next time.